I got, in. Hold on, I got an issue with you. All right, pull my pull mine up. How in the Rudy Poo do you have DeAnton Lynn at three? So you're sitting here arguing with Keith Golding, and you got put DeAnton Lynn at three, dude. And this is really ironic because USC fans, if you're watching this, I don't like you. I'm sorry. I'm a Notre Dame fan. We've already established this. But I really like DeAnton Lynn. I really, really like him as a defensive coordinator. I think he should have been the U- UCLA head coach. If we're, I, 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 we talked about this with with the offensive coordinators, and we've kind of alluded to it today. But doing less or doing more with less is really important to me. But I also just look across the board. What did you at, just say about Pete Golding? Wait, stop it with the with the with, with that for a second. <laughs> they you, UCLA you wait, wait. Poo. but that's okay. there's nothing to do with this actually it, it has a lot to do with this there was less defensive talent arguably at UCLA their best player was a guy who had to medically retire from football Lee Tulatu had to medically retire from football and he was one of the best defensive ends in the country they I would have, admit that they had a really good season UCLA defensively. I, they, I will give they you that. They did. They, they would have been well below 500 if it was not for their defense. And is, are we doing a poll of best defensive coordinators or who had the better defenses? Who was the better DC be, last year? Better defensive coordinators. He he uh, is, okay. he is he has proven so one to me. Year, wait, you justify it three. Yes, yes, I completely justify it. The way that that UCLA took a. Me- they only won games because of their defense, a number of games because of their defense. They completely annihilated and took away some opposing offenses. Like Pete Golding didn't have many games unless they were playing Vanderbilt where an opposing team's offense could not score. That Ole just Miss. didn't happen. Oh, I mean, uh, uh, Alabama. They still scored 24 points on them and they lost. UCLA had multiple games where they had a shitload of no, sacks, a shitload of tackles for loss. You're missing There's what I'm one- saying. There, who wait, was who wait. was USC's toughest team that they played? U- UCLA, you mean? UCLA. Who's the toughest team they played last year? They play. I mean, I would argue playing the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback in Caleb Williams is a pretty tough matchup. They, they. I mean, they, the, the Pac-12 had. I don't remember their schedule off the top of my head. You mean and the bus now known as Caleb Williams? I. I they still wait, wait. They still played. A Pac-12 schedule last year in a year where it was one of their most competitive seasons. They only gave up seven points to Utah. They gave up. Oh, because Utah wait. is the attitude of offense last year. They st- they gave up sixteen points to Colorado. They pick six, okay, to win that game. But if you remember, I'm adding on to you. Okay, they held Caleb Williams and USC to twenty points. There were a number of games last year where they completely removed opposing teams offenses that are supposed to have elite football players there's one guy that's going to go in the first round and the less the rest of that group they're all late round picks that have declared for the draft like there's not really much premier talent oh they stopped the pig farmer for for getting more than seven points joe i I can't put him up there right now even if i like him a lot because i i don't think i can constitute one good year all right, and say, okay, he had a really good year. Let's put him in the top five of guys that have been DCs for multiple years and have done it more than he has. I, I don't think it's fair to – I mean, I forget who you put – I put on there and you didn't. It's not uh, – It was Glenn Schumann. Glenn Schumann. Joe, wait, I want to wait. I want to wait to talk. I want to okay. wait to talk about it. How in the see. Rudy Poo can you put DeAnton Lynn above, uh, above Glenn Schumann? Okay, this is a take that I think you're going to – Oh, this is a, wait, 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 wait. No. This actually isn't a take. This isn't even a take. This is legitimately like a question. He was a co-DC. So like, I just don't He's know. He's all of the plays. And you know that. You're, you, why does he, why does, why did he have, and why does he still have the co-DC title? You I'm know, not, look, exactly I don't know why he does. I'm, we're obviously not in the coaching room and we, you know, we don't really know the full dynamic of the coaching staff. I'm not like detract. This, Ian this Lanning is, had co DC with Glenn Schumann. I'm not, I'm not saying that it is detracting from his ranking and his placement for me. That's not what I'm saying. You don't I even just, have him on there. I'm 
let me finish what I'm trying to say. All I am bringing this up is it's a legitimate question is like, should we consider somebody that's not listed as a full-time defensive coordinator? Hell yeah, he's calling plays and you know that. But he's, but why is he listed as a co-DC? Like that's what's like bo- bothering me. It feels weird that like I'm picking a guy that's. Jo- Joe Brady was a co-OC in 2019. Did you take anything away from him? No, I didn't. But oh, why okay. was he listed as a co-OC? <laughs> because titles don't mean shit. They're giving T-Rob a co-DC title for a pay bump and for recruiting. And oh, you oh. know that. Glenn Schumann is calling the defenses. And by the way, by the way, you have the Oregon head coach who had a co-DC with him, literally Glenn Schumann at Georgia. It's just how Kirby sets it up. I don't know what to tell you here. This is this is less of me trying to put up a fight with you. All I'm saying is, like, I put him right at six because he is not listed as the Over sole the defensive coordinator. Oh, as the Give sole defensive coordinator. One court. reason. Can I can I finish? Would you agree that Georgia's coaching staff has an un- unbelievably ridiculous, deep support system, specifically on the defensive side of the football? Would you not agree with that? You legitimately came in this show months ago and said we should consider Glenn Schumann as the next Alabama head coach because he's from there. No, we were oh. talking. Wait, we were talking about like 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 unexpected names. But you threw it in there so, because we were listing unexpected, unlikely names. That was the point of the. How does don't pull me out, out, out of context like that. Oh, that's not out of context, and you know it's not that's out of context. Out of, we literally listed. Okay, who were some random people that could, like, out of nowhere that we were like, holy shit, how did liar, this guy? Liar, liar, pants on fire. We also didn't name Kalen DeBoer. So we're both um, fucking wrong. Excuse me. You named Kalen DeBoer for Michigan. You didn't name him when we talked about the Alabama I shit. I said he'd be on the move. Bet Online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet Online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V for 50% off your first deposit. That is a 50% welcome bonus. Bet Online, where the game starts.